Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the process of peristalsis in detail. Peristalsis involves the continuous contractions and relaxations of circular and longitudinal muscles of the alimentary canal which produce alternating waves of constriction and distension in the lumen. Peristalsis starts from the buccal cavity and continues along the length of esophagus to the stomach and then along the whole of the intestine till the rectum. Is there say buccal cavity se shuru hone wali uh, muscular wave continue rehti hai till the end of rectum. Isse hum peristalsis kehte hai. Dear students, peristalsis depends on the arrangement of smooth muscles in the alimentary canal wall. The alimentary smooth musculature consists of an inner circular layer of smooth muscles and an outer longitudinal layer of smooth muscles. When the inner circular layer contracts, outer longitudinal layer relaxes. This coordination produces constriction in the lumen. Iske mukable me jab longitudinal layer relax karti hai. Iske mukable me jab uh, longitudinal layer contract karti hai or circular layer relax karti hai. To iske nitije me distension of the luminal wall produce hoti hai. Dear students, peristalsis pushes the food along the alimentary canal from the mouth to the anus. Food ki movement ki jo direction hai, that is dependent on the direction of peristaltic wave. Because normally peristalsis ka root ya is wave ki jo direction hai wo buccal cavity se lekar anus ki taraf hai lehada food isi taraf move karti hai. Peristalsis ki wajah se swallowing induce hoti hai yani ke food ko ingest kiya jata hai aur isi process ki wajah se it culminates in defecation. Dear students, if the direction of peristalsis reverses, it is called reverse peristalsis. As a result of reverse peristalsis, the luminal contents, which digestive tract under ja chuke hain, they come back into the buccal cavity. Ruminant mammals may ye ek common or normal process hai jis ki wajah se they can regurgitate their food that is bring up the undigested or unchewed food for further chewing in the buccal cavity. Lekin baki ke animals mein agar ye process hota hai to it results in vomiting or emesis.